Hello, you guys. Thank you for coming over here. I did, really didn't want to disappoint you guys. And this is the first time on this website, so I wanted to make sure that I could still play for you no matter what. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. And you guys, I know that a lot of you are here because you're here for my vinyl show. If some of you were just on YouTube and you just discovered me. Hello. Some of you are probably confused because you're just casually on YouTube. You are not a vinyl owner and you're like, what is going on? Well, many of the people in this chat and I are here because we are playing my album, Barbara. Rachir, Rachir. And um, we were on a custom website built for the event and it crashed a couple of times. So I guess you guys' mind, your gaynesses are too powerful. You just uh, own the internet and you shut down things with your minds. So I'm sorry about that, but I'm glad you're here now. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> Jess says, let's go lesbians, let's go. Yes, exactly. Some of you guys are probably here pretty regularly. Normally we play yesterday for full coverage Friday, but this event was set up a couple weeks ago because we were already selling vinyls. And then we were wanting to do a show and I was like, well, let's do something where we can like, sort of like reward people who already bought a vinyl, because a lot of you guys in the chat, I'm seeing now, a lot of you guys bought this and didn't even know this was gonna happen. So you probably got an email with like a free gift being like, what is happening? And then some of you guys bought this because you saw this event happening today. So whichever vinyl owner you are, I'm happy to have you. I was so gagged to get this in the mail the other day and I got a turntable for the first time so I could actually listen to it. It was super cool. Here and clear, I'm glad you guys can hear and see me. Hello, uh, I'm excited to be here. It's, um, it's a weird time to be in drag in blonde hair in your house in Hollywood, California, and I'll tell you why. It's, um, it's one of those things, you guys, where uh, I was getting in drag today and I was like, I don't know, it's with everything going on in the United States with all of the, um, with the current... With all the riots and with Black Lives Matter and so many more important things going on than a drag queen in front of a paper um, backdrop, it just, you know, it, it is frivolous and, and being a drag queen isn't the most important thing on earth um, at this moment. Um, but I also think for a lot of you guys, you're probably scared right now and the news and Twitter and everything is getting you angry and, and involved and like rightfully angry and sad and scared. and. I guess there is a place, um, you know, it's been really hard and there's only 24 hours of the day and I just really want to be able to provide a little break for you guys today. You know what I mean? Something that gives you a little break from maybe being so scared. A lot of you guys, when you come see me on tour, you're like, oh my God, I have anxiety all the time. I'm always scared. I'm always sad. I'm depressed. But you really give me a break. And that's always my focus with Trixie is try to give you guys just like, no matter what's going on, hopefully just like a little, ugh, you know. Um, it's scary, you guys. I mean, I live right here in Hollywood, California. There's been helicopters all day, cop cars all day. My boyfriend lives by the Grove, the mall, and he says there's cop calls, cars on fire. Um, I was talking to Bob today, and he was with Monet, and I don't want to say whose business it was, but one of their close friends was um, arrested for protesting, and they were going down to the precinct to pick him up. Um, it's a really scary time, and I know that I'm a blonde drag queen in a blue swimsuit and a wig singing an album that was designed to make you guys happy. And today's show is meant to give you guys a little bit of a lift amidst all this. Um, I still want us all to stay very vocal and very involved. In fact, if you guys want to get involved but you don't know how, I have a Tiltify link where I am joined up with the Minnesota Freedom Fund. We had a goal of $1,500 and we are almost to four grand already, which is such a gag, such a gag. Um, so. I'm, I'm so happy that you guys have gotten involved, as have I. Um, it's just a unique, it's a unique thing to be a, um, you know, I feel lucky to have people in my life like, like Bob and Peppermint, people I can have candid conversations with where I'm like, how are you feeling? How are you? I mean, if you guys, if anything today, if you reach out to a person in your life, a black person in your life, and be like, I, I just can't imagine how you are feeling. You know, I just talked to Arielle. If you guys follow Trixie Cosmetics, she was our first model. And you know, she's a healthcare professional. And I was like, I just can't even imagine what you're feeling today. 
Um, so you guys said the sound was low. Hopefully this is a little better. But um, I'm inviting you guys to stay involved and stay angry and stay asking questions and learning. And I'm offering you just this little show. I mean, I'm in a wig. I'm a, I, you are watching a man in a wig in Hollywood right now. And I hope that this gives you just a little bit of a breath today. And it's just a little thank you. You know, I completely make these myself. I write the songs myself. I fund this myself. And I'm so happy some of you added this to your collection. I have like four vinyl. I have like a Dolly Parton record, a Rocky Horror record, and like a RuPaul record in my record. So um, I'm glad some of you are with me today. And some of you who actually were with me just a few moments ago, if you donated any of the sequins in that chat, we are donating that to Black Visions Collective, which is another great organization that specifically um, is LGBT oriented as well. So I'm gonna be transferring that to them. If you guys are looking to, offend a, uh, to attend a fundraising event remotely, you know, Tuesday, I'm playing the All Stars versions of my Sims. And if you guys just wanna get, if you wanna have a chuckle and donate some money and just be part of a little bit of a community, you can join me Tuesday. Oh, you need this. Oh, thank you. Oh, some of you are posting the yellow hearts. Do you like the yellow background? I don't know if anybody, if you guys are photographers, it's funny because it's just paper, but look how fancy it looks. Isn't that stupid? It looks like I'm standing in front of the world's largest post-it note. Would you guys gag if it just had like a grocery list written on it? You are gorgeous. Oh, thank you guys. I'm looking at your chat right now. Love the blue swimsuit. Yes, Emma, I did donate. I don't want to like, say how much I donated because I feel uncomfortable being like, I care this dollar amount because any dollar amount you guys donate, it matters. It's not a competition of who donates. But if you go to my Tiltify, you can go down, you'll see my name, you'll see my donation. Very proud to have donated. And in a way, I donated money you guys gave to me through the years by listening to my music and stuff. So really, I'm donating your money. So thank you. So I was going to make a set list for this. And I have the album right here, and then I just figured I'll just go down the road. So we'll just go down the album one by one. Put a little light on, there we go. It is, my air conditioner is broke. It's 74 degrees in my house, and I am sweating, so I apologize for that. But let's start singing. So we're gonna start with a song I wrote that's the first song in the album. This is called Malibu. And some of you guys who have the vinyl probably know this. You know, it's very gay and glossy and fun. And Truthfully, I've never even, I've only been to Malibu like once, but it was just a song I wrote about the idea of like, you know, going on a trip with my boyfriend for no reason. And if you guys are into it, I actually have the demo for Malibu right here if you guys wanna hear it. Let's listen. Hello. So this is the version of Malibu I played on GarageBand in my house before we made it. Isn't that crazy? So let's get started today. Let's play Malibu. Slow, how did I lose you? 
at the intro. Take me, I wanna go. Now, ooh, ooh, now, I wanna go. Now, ooh, ooh, Malibu, I wanna go to me. Never been with a type like you before. Chilled out, top down, just what I've been looking for. Pulling up, you got your hair real neat. Came cruising from the coast to scoop me. And I've been jotting down the days to jump back in. Take your time, everybody says so. You'll be fine. At the intro, take me, I wanna go. Now, ooh, ooh, Malibu, I wanna go. Now, ooh, ooh, Malibu, I wanna go to me and you and Malibu. Take me to the ocean blue, I don't care, any beach will do. honest i was a little nervous Woo. thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you queen of technology oh my god i wish if you guys you've been here some of you i'm sorry about earlier that site is brand new and it's never even had people on it until today so i'm glad you were the i said i was the guinea pig but really it's you guys who were the guinea pigs oh i'm so sad and happy right now i know it's uh it's a really weird time in America right now, you guys. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm glad that when you guys are like today, I'm sure a lot of you are scared and freaked out. I'm glad we can sit and put on a wig and just give you guys a little bit of a break. I'm gonna have a little, do you mind? Do you mind if I just have a nip, you guys? Um, I just wanna do a cheers. You know, when I started writing this record like a year ago, um, I didn't know that we would be doing this show remotely and it just, I mean, I'm alone in my house, but I don't feel totally alone in my house. So thank you guys for being here. And um, I love you. I love you so much. <sighs> lordy, lordy. All right. So this one, I'm excited to play. This actually was the only song on the record that's original that I didn't write. This song was written by a brilliant young woman, Ashley Levy. She actually is in a band called The Blah Blah Blahs. If you guys don't know, follow them. If you like the song We Got the Look, follow The Blah Blah Blahs. Those songs are incredible. If you're looking for music to get in drag to, oh my god. It's like the funnest, like, surf, kinky, sexy music. You'll love it. Oh, I honestly don't mind. This is not exclusive, even if I paid for it. Everybody needs a little escape. That is extremely sweet. I know. Some of you guys are freeloaders, and we do accept you here. This show was originally for everybody who bought the album, but um, we're taking advantage of YouTube's extremely stable streaming platform. So, all right. <laughs> This is fun, you know, if you guys saw Grown Up, so many of you probably were at Grown Up, this is a song that opens the show, and it's not written for just acoustic guitar, and I've never sung it alone until right now. So hopefully, it sounds okay. Ashley, if you're watching this, I hope I do you, <laughs> I do you proud. Okay. 
City lights on the beat, glitter all on the street. It's a runway to me, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking over the night, yeah, we're losing our minds. You know it ain't a crime, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look down, don't look now. Hey, look out, we got the look you want. We got the look, we got the look. Sound, act like no one's around. Gonna scream, gonna shout, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Style into the nines, feeling good, feeling fine. Diamonds were made to shine, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look down, don't look now. Hey, look out, we got the look you want. We got the look, we got the look, yeah, yeah. We got it. have heard the record which you have it's obviously a much more exciting song with all the instruments and like the stacked guitars and stuff but shout out to the blah blah blahs ashley levy you guys i was on tour little backstory and you know i normally write the songs and i got an email from ashley i love her music and she was like i wrote this song i don't really know if it's right for me but oh charlotte says one of my favorite on the album mine too honestly she was like i don't know if it's really right for me but i just wanted to send it to you see if it I listened to it for 40 seconds. I think I was at a fundraiser event getting in drag. And I was like, I have to record this song. I was obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. It's perfect. So thank you, Ashley, for writing that song. It's awesome. Let's go, Tracy. Yes, God. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. We try to make my voice sound on the album like my voice does in real life. That way, you guys aren't disappointed in person. Maybe I should do an album where I do full auto-tune. Like, what do you guys think? Like, full, full fantasy. You seriously rock. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. And especially a thank you to everybody who bought an album to be here today. This show really is for you. Please excuse the Riff Raff who's attending, and please be nice to them. Welcome to the Riff Raff. Hi, Riff Raff. We hi oh, my God. <laughs> Anika says, we love the freeloaders. Great. We're a very welcoming community. All right, let's do it. So, if you guys don't know, the album is built side A, side B. Side A is more upbeat. Side B is more, it's more serious. So, let's do Girl Next Door. I love Girl Next Door. You guys know, if you come to a Trixie show, it's basically a mixer for women who like to put on wigs and make out with other women, and it's wonderful. And on this album, I was like, I'm not a girl next door, I'm an old man, but what if I wrote a song from the POV of being like a, you know, like a, um, like a girl next door. So this song's about that. The sun, it goes down like anything. Hard to believe I used to see the silver line and the tide they rolled in. It's getting low You got me wondering your number and the undertow Before you go I really want you to know If 
you're ever feeling bored I just moved in and I'm the girl next door I'd like to have you on the hardwood floor You can call me up with the girl next door God. Liverbone said, I'm sitting here smiling like a dork and people are looking at me. You know what? Live your life. You got your blue suits. You got your ring. You got a way of thinking you know everything. And you run a tight ship out to the shore. You got me going now. I'm going overboard. Before you go, I really want you to know. If you're ever feeling bored, I just moved in and I'm the girl next door. I'd like to have you on the hardwood floor. You can call me up with the, the girl next door. So pick up the phone. I want to know that you're home. And let me know. Cause you know that I'll be waiting. Oh, you don't, here we go. God, yes! Oh, I love that song. Oh, thank you. That song, every night on tour, I, I always dedicate it to the ladies in the audience. I love you, ladies. Women are the future. Women for president. But you guys really like the hair, huh? I have a secret for you. Come in close. This is my All Stars 3 promo hair, just brushed out. Do you see how it's feathered? This is literally the same wig. And every time I spray it and clean it and brush it it gets nastier and like look at the ends should your hair stand up straight probably not i mean i look like falcor from the never ending story don't i the never ending story but um i love this wig and until it literally disintegrates i love this wig i have a long a very long doesn't it kind of look like do you guys watch american horror story doesn't it also kind of look like um margaret who's the camp counselor because she kind of has hair away from her face anyway <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Oh, you love that song, it slaps. Oh, thank you, you are so sweet. <sighs> so we're about halfway through the album and we couldn't continue without playing a certain song. Now there's a song on my album that I wrote about a gentleman in the world. If you guys don't know, I have a shocking confession, I am gay. And I wrote this song about the most important man in my life. Jesse Eisenberg, and Jesse, if you're watching, which I'm sure you're here. Well, I'll give you guys proof why I know he's here. He's probably watching. Let's, uh, ooh, I have a call. Ooh. See, this is Jesse Eisenberg from the song that you wrote about me. Um, I love the song. I'm, like, actually a big fan of yours, too, though, you know, obviously not to, like, the same extent. But um, I once heard you say that you love me because you know that no one else does and that you wouldn't have to, like, fight people off to get to me. And I just want to say, like, that is the nicest thing anybody's ever said about me. Oh, can you believe it? Can you actually believe it? I was gagged the first night of tour. Um, I didn't know that video was going to come on the screen, and it did, and I was so gooped. So shout out to Ryan at my management for emailing Jesse and sending the song to Jesse. And you guys, Jesse was really nice about it. He knows I'm not standing outside his house. Um, so thank you, Jesse. Um, this one goes out to Jesse. What a blessing when I rented cursed 
and I knew I had to have you first. You can keep me waiting for forever, whatever. Got your glossy double cover sheet, like the pictures on a magazine. I can get your pages stuck together, whatever. Sit in the sand and turn the tide as I scan my TV guide. Jesse, Jesse, take my hand. You can meet me in zombie. You know, inside every flim's a pearl. I could be Jesse's girl. Like the pictures on a movie screen Got you coming in crystal clean And I can keep you for an instant replay Any day And if I saw you in a public place No, you wouldn't recognize my face But even if you knew me, what would you say? Any day Sit in the sand and turn the tide as I scan my TV guide Jesse, Jesse, take my hand You can meet me in zombie land You know inside every clown's a pearl I could be Jesse's girl Jesse's girl, oh Some might call me crazy Every time I replay every single Till you call me, baby I'm just gonna replay every single Blu-ray yeah. I know you're married And separation can be scary But now you see her and now you don't Jesse's girl, Jesse's girl, oh, what could be Jesse's girl? Jesse's girl, oh, what could be Jesse's girl? Jesse. <laughs> I love that song. Listen, I like to write music that is incredibly moving, hopefully, but also sometimes you just have to write a song that no one asked for. And that's my Jesse Jesse. That's that's what that song for me. Can you guys can you guys believe the video from him though? I was so gagged. And he obviously doesn't think I'm a murderer, so that's nice. I don't have plans to murder him. Um, I'm glad he doesn't think I am. So you guys were halfway through the record. If you are just randomly joining us from YouTube. We're playing through my record, Barbara, today. This is kind of a gift for all of you out there who have my vinyl. This is to you. I love you. And everybody who just found us today, welcome. You are welcome. Say hi in the chat. We love to hear from you. We love you. Actually, everybody in the Trixie chats is super friendly, so just please say hi. Say hi, I'm gay, whatever, you know, the important stuff. Um, and anybody who's joining us, too, I know the world is um, extremely, extremely scary right now, and the news and Twitter and everything. It's worth being angry and scared and, you know, I'm just hoping today this little 10 minutes is, is fun for you guys and you feel good. And I promise I will let you go back to your regularly scheduled panic, but thank you for relaxing with me for about 10 minutes today. I really appreciate it. So we're going to play a song. This one's more of a downer. I know I just said I'm trying to lift you guys up, but this one really is a downer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my God, somebody said jamming and eating a steak. Well, listen, welcome. You can eat steak. I'm a vegetarian, but I welcome you eating your dinner while you watch this. Yes, 
Thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you, thank you. If you guys are looking to get involved in, um, in everything that's going on, you can feel free. There's a wonderful, I have a Tiltify account set up. It made it very easy. Just go to the Tiltify, go to the Minnesota Free to Fund. You can donate. But Minnesota Free to Fund said that they actually are kind of like directing funds elsewhere. So you guys can go ahead. I recommend Black Visions Collective. It's black and LGBT. We love them. And they are very responsive. You can DM them on Instagram and they say, just DM us. saying I'm not okay. I'm singing this stuff to hopefully console you in this time of need, not make you sadder. Sorry about that. But you know what? If you need to cry, you can cry with me on this channel right now. I won't tell anyone. Cool. I love that song, you guys. I mean, I, that song to me, I think is one of the, I think it's one of the best songs I've ever written. It's my favorite one. Um, I just think the rhymes, like, um, Old front lawn, gold is gone, cold blood wrong. All of the way those stack together. Like, I love that line. Will you grow from those cold blood wrongs? Oh. I wrote that song because I was like, you know, I was falling in love with my boyfriend and I've had some relationships not work out. And that song, you guys, it's sort of a reminder of like, you have to believe in something, you know, you can't, things can get really bad, but like, you have to believe that things can get better, and that's kind of what that song is about. It's like, where, where do you go when you've seen things go to shit before? How are you supposed to believe in something now? And that song is kind of about that. 
Oh, don't cry, you guys. Please, survive. You guys are so funny in the chat with your candles. I like, and some of you spam like 10 candles, so I just picture a person holding like 10 birthday candles. I don't know why. All right, powder puff. I'm glad I'm far away from you guys because I am melting, speaking of candles. It's good that you guys are nice and far away. I'm sure I look like a, a really gut bucket. Oh, thank you guys. They start to play, thank you. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you guys would like to join us Tuesday, we are doing a charity fundraiser specifically for Minnesota Freedom Fund, if you'd like to join us. The fund is open now, you can donate. We already made our goal. But you can still join us Tuesday. It's a good community, and we basically play video games and raise money for funds for uh, causes that matter. And this week, we are choosing Minnesota Freedom Fund, so we will see you Tuesday, some of you. That's on Twitch, if you guys don't know. Twitch is more for video gaming. Um, you guys are gay, you know. Um, so let's play I Don't Have a Broken Heart. I love this song. I mean, this almost brings me back to, like, Trix and Mattel, Two Birds, because it's so yeehaw. And I know some of you guys here are yeehaw bitches. So, um... Yes, we normally discourage uh, spamming the chat. Please feel free to spam the chat with BLM, Black Lives Matter. Absolutely. And we accept uh, really dramatic candles, too. You guys really love emojis on this. Uh, you love to spam emojis. You know what? Sometimes emojis communicate feelings. This song, a little bit of a, um, little bit of a, like a story behind it. I, this is one of those things where you're in a good relationship and you're shook because nothing's going wrong and you're like, mm, we're supposed to be screaming at each other by now. It's been six months. Um, this song is about that. It's about checking in and being like, I'm just shook that this is working out. You know, like, historically it hasn't worked, and it, this is working. Um, so that's what this song is about. I don't want to see you come in. I don't want to see you go. I just want to see you blooming, coming in through November snowing. Gotta make some sense in loving, looking out for what's below. Gotta hear the train of coming, gotta hear that whistle blow like ooh. ooh, ooh. I don't have a broken heart. broken heart and I've heard of her potion skirt I've heard a curse is broken from the taste of true love's lips I've <laughs> can we just talk that I'm so gay that instead of potions I in curses I said purses I've heard a curse is broken Taste of true love's lips. There's more to me than broken. Like a poison running thick and loving never was a story. Only guaranteed to end. The more I push, the more you push back and we start again like ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't have a broken heart.
love that song. Have I, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. When I leave the harmony on, I am the devil. Hello. Oh, I love that song. It's so sweet. It's one of those like kind of cu classic country songs where there's no bridge. It's just like A B A B A B. Um, it's a little more old school, but I love that song. It's so gay. Oh, you donated. Oh, thank you guys. If you guys don't know, hold on. I could put my Tiltify in the chat, but if you guys go to my Tiltify, I have a link directly to Minnesota Freedom Fund if you guys want to donate there. We've already like doubled our goal, so if you want to spread the wealth, there's plenty of other organizations. I shared a tweet on my Twitter, but also, um, you know, you could do whatever. I also am doing today, some of the tips are going to, from earlier in the show, are going to... Um, Black Visions Collective. Um, so that's kind of, we're sharing the wealth today, so. So happy you guys are here today. I mean, I know I'm fortunate because none of you guys <laughs> are currently at work or school, but I'm glad I can still, through the magic of the internet, be here with you. So thank you for being here. And there's not that many, this is kind of an intimate group today um, because this wasn't planned or anything, so I'm really happy you guys are here. There was like four or 500 people here for the album show, and then when we switched over, now it's 800. So it's mostly still you guys. Thank you for being here. Let's see. I want to do this one I never get to do. So we'll see if I even remember the words. This is uh, number seven on the album. This is I Do Like You. And I wrote this after I had a fight with my boyfriend and I was in my house and I was just like not feeling so good. Uh, we we're on the way for a dinner party where we got in a fight and I wrote this song here in Hollywood. And that's why there's parts about the street getting loud at night. It's like, um, you know, it's like during the day, you hear traffic all day, you don't notice. And at night, when one car goes by, you hear it. And I guess I was feeling that way emotionally. So sorry if some of you are fragile, but I'm going to make you more fragile. Two, here we go. And I don't like you. Home. And I don't like you sleeping alone And I pick up the phone just to call you again you Never say never, but you never say when And I do, and I do ooh, ooh, like you And I do, and I do ooh, ooh, like you And I don't like you when you call me out And I don't like you when you're putting me down you're picking me up on a Saturday night All cause you had to, had to be right And I do, and I do ooh, ooh, like you And I do, and I do ooh, ooh, like you Why does the street get louder when it gets dark? Why do I feel that sound in the pounding in? shape of mine And I don't like you when I feel I've been had I don't like you when you go to bed mad Just to wake up again in the middle of the night Why do you have to, had to be fighting I do, and I do ooh, ooh, like you I do, and I do ooh, ooh, like you. Why does the street get louder when it gets dark? Why do I feel that sound in the pounding in the shape of my Back and re-begin 
back way to the start, back way to our hearts, we can win. Why does the street get louder when it gets dark? Why do I feel that sound in the pounding in the shape of my heart? get to sing that that's probably the honestly I haven't sang that song probably since we recorded the record um oh <laughs> I like finished that singing that song and I looked down and somebody says you go bald thank you so much Belladonna yes I am bald hello <sighs> oh thank you guys I love that we've gone with the yellow theme a lot of you guys are doing the yellow heart thank you keeping it very yellow we're at the last song you guys we're at the very last song and um, this is one of the other songs in the album I didn't write. If you guys don't know, when you listen to Stranger, I actually didn't write this one. This was written by a man named Patrick Haggerty, who is a gay country music icon. And I have some never before seen video footage with him that I'm gonna play for you now. So nobody's seen this. You guys are the first people to see this. This is a little bit of my experience recording with Patrick. I see you stepping high with your tight blue jeans on Strutting like a button-down paragon And I reckon you're looking for some necking, yes I do Climb right up into my manger But let me warn you about one small danger, babe And I can't shake the stranger out of you I see you pressing a print and as smooth as you can You're hotter than the popcorn dancing in the pan Out to capture a chunk of rapture with someone new I can hit the sack like an aristocrat If you're looking for a trick in a box of Cracker Jack But I can't shake the stranger out of you Not of you Not of you Louder, you. Now to you, now to you, now to you. You're a romping bronco, I must admit. Stopping while your lips are chomping at the bitch. Sure, I'll kiss you, but who's gonna miss you when you chase chasing midnights through? Be glad to be your one shot pleasure, even leave you grieving at your own leisure, babe. But I can't shake the stranger out of you. Not of you, not of you, not of you. Not of you, not of you. So you're hot to trot for the next buckaroo Who's got the stuff to put a saddle on you Ride you higher in the fires of desire than you ever knew All your favorite fantasies will come to an end We'll be waking up tomorrow needing a friend Cause I can't shake a stranger out of you not of you, 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 not of you. That was great. And we are back. Thank you guys all for joining me. And um, 
I just want to talk a little bit before I sing the last song, something a little more personal. Um, let's just say that in the last few days, I have gone from somebody who is non-racist to somebody who is very enthusiastic about being more than that and being anti-racist, especially on platforms of social media. And I know that about two days ago, some of you, especially my black fans, you went to my Twitter and you didn't see me being with you on Twitter. And I'm really ashamed of that. And I think of you guys coming to my Twitter and I think of you, you know, I think of you guys, you know, coming and, and waking up and seeing whatever, you know, and, and as, a, as a brown person in America coming to my Twitter and not seeing even the smallest gesture of me saying I'm with you. And in the future, I am, I see the value in that. I've, you know, I'm much more interested in that. And I just want to say sorry that I didn't meet you at least halfway, the way you guys always meet me. I mean, so many of you are probably here right now. And so many of you guys, you know, you, you do any, you, you support me every single way. And I want to support you as much as you support me and, and then some. So I just want to say I'm sorry to you guys. I'm sorry for not exactly being where I needed to be as a white person with any influence. I mean, social media is just social media, but it's still the way I can reach you guys and everyone and let you guys know that I'm with you. And to all my black fans out there, I'm sorry I, I let you down. And I am with you and I love you. And a lot of you guys have been waiting to hear it. And uh, I've been waiting to find the right way to say it. So I love you guys. And now we have to sing a very sad song. <laughs> ah, I feel like I joke so much about apologize mom and now, <laughs> now, I, now I am living, breathing apologize mom. I just love all you guys. I hate in any of this that my drag wasn't something that unified all of us. I hate, I hate that, I'm so sorry. I, I, I wish I had been right there with you at the crack of dawn posting before you. Really, really. There's a big difference about being there's a big difference between being um, non-racist and being actively anti-racist. And the least I could have done was be there for you guys. And I'm here for you now. And I'm always here for you. I love this song. This song is extremely sad. I mean, it honestly couldn't come at a better time. If you guys don't know Patrick Haggerty from the video, he was more than just a musician. He, when he was like in the 70s, a protest musician. I mean. He was somebody who was getting arrested trying to play these songs. He was getting blacklisted from music jobs. He told me, you guys, he told me when he released this album, oh my God, this is another sad thing. He told me, um, oh, this is also sad. You guys want to, <laughs> no crying in baseball, no crying in drag. He told me after he put out this record, Lavender Country, he couldn't even find, um, he couldn't even find a day job, let alone a music job, because him singing about loving men was, it just took him off the map completely. And I mean, talk about heartbreaking. When I first heard the song, I was obsessed with it. And hearing him talk about it more, it was like amazing. So I wanna sing this for you guys. This is technically a little bit of a, um, it's a little bit of a, a protest song. Um, and there's a way, as I have learned, it's always, Good to use your voice, and this, this um, this song. The the uh, unfortunately, the part of this song is still very much valuable to be sung today in society. Stepping high with your tight blue jeans on Strutting like a button-down paragon I reckon you're looking for some necking, yes I do Climb right up into my major But let me warn you about one small danger, babe And I can't shake the stranger out of you I see you prancing and printing as smooth as you can you're hotter than the popcorn dancing in the pan Out to capture a chunk of rapture somewhere 
Well, I can hit the sack like an aristocrat If you're looking for a tricking box of Cracker Jacks And I can't shake the stranger out of you Out of you Out of you Out of you Out of you, now to you, now to you. You're a romping bronco, I must admit. Stopping while your lips are chomping, and the bitch sure I'll kiss you. But who's gonna miss you when you chase the midnights through? Be glad to be your one shot pleasure, even. Be grieving at your own leisure, babe. But I can't shake the stranger out of you. 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 So you're hot to trot for your next buckaroo's got the stuff to put a saddle on you. Ride you higher than the fires of desire than you ever knew. All my favorite fantasies will come to an end. You'll be looking up tomorrow and be a friend. But I can't shake the stranger out of you. 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 Now to you, now to you, now to you. Oh, ah, uh, that, that, oh. Maybe talking about what I just talked about with you guys so candidly and then singing that song, but that was very emotional. <laughs> We sang all the songs in the record, you guys. We sang all of them. Um, if you're just joining us, we don't cry all the time in these shows. Um, <laughs> like I said, I, I know it feels silly to watch a 30-year-old man dress as a Barbie and play music today, but I do think that as much as I'm with you and I am angry with you and sad with you, I also want to try to do stupid things for you guys. I love you guys. You are really everything to me. Um, Oh, you guys don't cry. Oh. I know. I, I was actually very emotion, emotional for a second there. Oh. So we played the whole album. Um, I'm going to play one more bonus song, if you guys don't mind. I've had a really good time tonight. I know I'm sweaty as hell. I can feel the skin between my legs sticking together. Um, so I am sweaty. Um, I'm going to play this for you guys. This is a song that was not on this record, but it is on the Moving Parts soundtrack. I wrote it when I was 19 years old, and I wrote it for my boyfriend who lived in Minneapolis. And I mean, watching on the news, watching Minneapolis, getting involved with the Minneapolis Freedom Fund, I just think of being 19 and driving to Minneapolis and seeing how beautiful it was and how nice everyone was and how progressive it is there. And um, I wanted to sing this song because I love, I love Minneapolis. And I called my ex-boyfriend today, Sam. He didn't pick up, but he works in nonprofits. He's always, you know, he's full-time philanthropy. He didn't pick up. I'm probably going to call him right after this. Uh, but he saw that I donated some money to the Minneapolis Fund, and he actually texted me saying thank you. So that was really sweet. Um, so let's sing it. This is called uh, Hello, Goodbye, Hello. I'm going to donate this, or I'm going to dedicate this to our friends in Minneapolis. We love you guys. We love you. If anybody in the chat, you've ever been to Minneapolis, it's lit. It's so lit. And um, this one also goes out to my boyfriend, who is always here for me no matter what. I love you so much, David. I love you. And this is from David's movie, Moving Parts. To be honest, you're dying. To be fair, you've got me on my knees. To be young and not on time. It's like flowers blooming through November freeze. When I speak, I say your name. When I wake, it's written up and down my walls. To be 
honest, it's the same. Grumble, mumble, stumble around without a cause. And if you get the time, number is still mine. Baby, share a dime on the line there in Minnesota time. I don't know if you're thinking what I think you do. Do you? To be frank, it doesn't show. Clock's been ticking, talking, taking time from you. If you get the time, the number is still mine. Soda time. Hello, goodbye. Hello, hello, goodbye. Hello. Don't see spaces in between. I don't see colors running down the TV screen. There's no lines written in this scene, but I won't see. been on journeys today you guys i know the world is on fire but we are in it together i'm here with you and i'm glad we could play some music today and I, I guarantee if you guys put this in your giant cd player you will hear a much more auto-tuned and perfect version of these songs um but this is really fun it felt cathartic it felt good this is really cool i'm gonna go snatch my own wig off i love you guys it's almost nine o'clock here um i will talk to you all very soon if you'd like to do further idiot behavior and advocacy where it matters. You can join me Tuesday on my Twitch channel because we are raising more money for Black Lives Matter. I will see you on Tuesday and um, I love you guys. Bye. I'm going to play you out with some more songs from Barbara. You will hear the album whether you like it or not. I love you guys. Bye. Start to play, to do 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 do. They start to play, to do 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 do. Now don't have a broken heart. Ooh, ooh. Now don't have a broken heart. And I do. 
And I do, and I do like you. Now to you, now to you. Now to you.